step is check the last digit possibility. Check last digit possibility. Now look here. What is this for? Where do we get last digit for? Just now we have discussed last digit for you are going to get at 2 or 8. Yes or no? 2 or 8. Next step. Next step what you have to do is you have to strike off these numbers. Strike off these numbers. First you have to take the possibilities. After noting down the possibility just you have to strike off those numbers. Just a strike off those numbers. Next step you have to check perfect square close to this number and less than this number. Very important. Perfect square close to this number and less than that number. Now what is perfect square close to 23 and less than 23? Now that is nothing but 4 square which is 16. If you take 5 square, 5 square is 25 which is more than. Yes or no? So you need perfect square number close to that and less than that. So it is nothing but 60, which is nothing but 4 square. Yes. That is the reason in the second step, you need to note this and you have to write it as 4, 4. Which means either 42 will be your answer or either 48 will be your answer. But what is the answer? We does not know. Now the third step, which is a deciding step. Third step is going to be our deciding step. So in the third step, what you have to do is, as we know that this is a perfect square close to 4, you need to multiply this with the next number. Next number means next number after 4 is 5. When you multiply this, 4 into 5 is going to be 20. Now, if you observe that the number is less than this number, if our number is less than this number, then our number should, uh, our value should be a bigger value. If our value is, uh, if our value is bigger than this value, then our square should be a bigger square. If our value is less than this value, then our square should be a smaller square. Now look here, is 23 less than 20 or greater than 20? Greater than, as it is bigger value, our value square should be bigger square. So bigger square means we can say answer for this is going to be 48. Is that clear? So 48 square is going to be how much? 2304. It is going to be our answer. Very, very simple three steps procedure. You just follow three steps.